You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Brenda would like to know, is chemotherapy always necessary with TNBC? Triple negative breast cancer. Triple negative breast cancer. Um, there's so many different subtypes of triple negative breast cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we see genetic subtypes. It's been classified, I think, right now. We, I think the general consensus is about five to seven different subtypes, depending on which study you look at. Okay. You're going to have uh, immuno-based uh, triple negative breast cancers. You can have uh, ER positive based ones, mm. uh, PR positive, mm. HER2 positive. There's so many different subtypes uh, and each subtype, I mean, there's even an androgen subtype where you can treat with drugs for prostate cancer. Mm. So, and there's PARP inhibitor uh, subtypes, you know, um, that have BRCA mutations and they can respond to PARP inhibitors and immunotherapy. So there's so many different subtypes that you could get around chemo. It's whether those chemo drugs are going to be important or not. Mm. It's it's hard to tell without the genetics. You really need to look at the genetics on that. Okay. Now, in terms of those subtypes, I know that uh, you know standard pathology, independent of genetic testing, can identify certain elements like how 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 high the HER2 status is or things like that. Is that true? Is that right? Uh, yeah, it can definitely. That's that's what the tool is right now. Is pathology? It's used as a main diagnostic tool. So, okay, so that stuff about subtyping would be naturally done. We can glean information from a pathology report that wouldn't be used for subtyping because they don't do a lot of. They don't really distinguish the molecular differences between these subtypes. Mm, okay. So. Pathology is going to focus on different cell types, not different molecular features. I see. And that's where the genetic testing comes in. That's where the genetic in. testing comes Got in. It. Okay. All right, Brenda. So to answer your question, we need genetic testing for you to find out what, what subtype you really have uh, and what's going to serve you best. And then you'll be able to know with confidence whether chemotherapy is necessary for you. No, we can get a lot from pathology reports too. I mean, if we see a high percentage of tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, CDA positive lymphocytes, then we know that there's a good chance that immunotherapy will work for the person. Okay. So we can get information without that, but really it's, you're flying blind without genetic right. information. You're tying your hands at least. You are, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.